Hey guys, this is Soumya from Bookfeast channel. Today in this video, we are going to deal with the topic 17 Oranges which is written by Bill Naughton. So, before getting into the uh, work, I just want to tell you, I have posted the particular content in Tamil also. If you are in need of that, please to refer the description. And also, if you are not a subscriber, please to click the bell icon and also subscribe our channel to get further more updates. So, when you talk about characters, the narrator and the narrator's friend Clam Jones, only his experience has been narrated here and Pongo the policeman and he is accompanied by the other policeman whose name is not given. We will start with the writer's introduction. William John Francis Naugden, he is also known as Bill Naugden. He was born in the year 1910 and he was passed away in the year 1992. He is an Irish born British playwright. And he is also an author. He is known for his writings based on the working class society. Because he is, uh, he is from the working class society, he has worked as a weaver, coal bagger and lorry driver. He wrote many novels, short stories, plays and children's books. Oranges, I was fond of them. I used to eat them all day and every day. So, he starts with an exclamation. Oranges, and he used to eat. He is not eating actually at present. He used to eat at once. So, he is coming up with the experience and the reason began why he is not eating oranges at the present. And he says, once he was caught by a policeman holding 17 oranges hidden in his pocket. And from that day, he had left eating oranges. So, he wanted to tell us the story and he gives introduction to himself. He is a, a person, one who works in delivery. He is a... Uh, I was driving a little pony and cart for the shift delivery company and I was often went in and out of the docks. So, he is often uh, is delivering, is uh, making the job of delivery. So, he wanted to have in and out often. When he goes out or when he comes in, he starts picking up things that uh, has been uh, forgotten by someone or maybe that has uh, fell to ground unknowingly. He mentions the word that he is not literally a thief. He is not a thief, but whenever there is something left, he will take it with his own apron. So, in his apron, uh, he has uh, designed it uh, by himself by preparing it having a large pocket and large holding so that he could fill every stuff in that. And uh, he also comes up with the example, sometimes bunch of ana uh, bananas may fall to the ground and often his friends also may help him to kick all the fruits or other eatables that is very favorite for him to the ground from the boat. And he would pick that uh, everything in his pocket and he would uh, come back and he used to spend the rest of the day by eating those uh, bananas or oranges. He is uh, he like bananas but apart from all orange seems to me his favorite one. I only took things when I found them but some people plan a theft very carefully. So he says that he only take things when he comes up with it or when he finds it. But many people make this as a regular routine that is a keep on drawbering. He comes up with the one such example, Clem Jones. So, Clem Jones is a careful planner and one day he was coming out of the docks and he's carrying a box with him. When Pongo the police officer questions what was in the box, he answers cat. But the Pongo says that it is not actually cat and he was cheating Pongo and he wanted the box to be open. When he opens the box, there comes a cat which runs back to the place from where it came. And it's actually a, a ship's uh, cat. So it uh, stays in ship only. So it goes back to the ship. And Clum, he was very angry. And he opened the box. The cat has went out. So he was very angry with the policeman. Where the policeman was softly touched. Because the, he felt that it was a mistake made by the policeman. That has put Clum into trouble. Again two minutes later, Clum he came back with the same box. He was holding it tightly and Pongo he was uh, literally laughing and he was giving way for uh, Clum to more. And also to add more flavor, he was laughing at Clum. And when uh, Clum opened the box, he was actually taking a uh, large Dutch cheese from the kitchen. He was actually making a robbery but he has strictly planned and cheated Pongo. So this is the story of Clum here. And the narrator says that he is not actually lucky as Pongo. Because once he was caught red handed while he was taking the oranges in his pockets. Because the bulkiness of the oranges 
has uh, revealed his true identity where Pongo uh, caught him and locked him inside a room. And he says his sentence, too many people are stealing from the dogs. You have stolen these oranges and concealed them in your pocket. Have you anything to say? So do you have anything to say? You have made a robbery. You have taken the oranges. So the right uh, narrator, he has taken 17 oranges and it was uh, uh, safely kept in his apron. Due to the bulgeness, it was caught by the police and he was at present as a thief. And he said nothing because he has an imagination that in many detective movies, he comes up with the same concept where the victim or the uh, culprit used to open his mouth and he give all the clues and from that the detectives they take it as an evidence against him. So he never wanted to open his mouth and express anything unless and until he was caught by someone or he was caught by his own act he will not open his mouth. So he remains quietly. Pongo he was very, ham uh, he was very angry and he wanted to uh, make the boy complain on himself. So he says that, so you won't say anything. I'm going to bring another police here. He will be a witness against you when I bring up this case in the court. So I'm going to bring this case to the court. And whenever you, have, uh, you were complained about the topic, I will have an evidence of the other policeman. And he says literally and he closes the door and he goes out. Now, it is only the narrator. He is praying to God. He is thinking about the incidents. If once I was caught in the problem, I was uh, lose my job and also I must go to prison. And what shall I answer to my father? What will my father do? What will be my result if my father comes to know about myself? So, he is getting troubled with everything. Suddenly, his invoice says, even he prays to God what to do. But his invoice says that eat the oranges eat the evidence so here the evidence is the orange so his mind was asking him to eat the oranges again it thinks whether i should eat or i should not eat but his mind voice says don't uh, get any panic or uh, don't waste the time as fast as you can sw swallow the oranges so he has uh, started eating the oranges and soon there were only few left the again his mind voice asked him to eat even the seeds and the peels because it can turn to be an evidence because if he had rest alone with the oranges he'll be caught in a small thing but if he had consumed all the oranges and if he had kept only the seed and peels there he would be caught easily so his mind voice asked him to eat that too and there were only three oranges left and there was a small opening in the door that is a sound where pongo he enters with the other policeman the boy, the narrator, he doesn't know how to react. But to his good luck, he was not caught. The police officers, they went out to see the another cart somewhere else. So this gave him some more few minutes and he started swallowing the oranges as fast as he could. Finally, he ate all the oranges and he was literally sitting. When Pongo and the other policeman, they entered, he uh, says, this is the thief. I caught him with a pocket full of oranges. Pongo shows the man that uh, the narrator is the thief because he has been caught while he was taking oranges in his pocket. And Pongo, he was searching for the oranges. Where are the oranges? He is searching for the oranges but he couldn't find anything. Suddenly the other policeman says that he can smell the orange. Then Pongo, he comes to know the point where again he questions the narrator. But the narrator doesn't want, it, want to answer the question. He keeps uh, silent again. And again and again the question repeats, he doesn't answer. So 17 oranges, 17 big ones, how did you eat them all? So 17 oranges totally, how did you eat all the oranges? How is it possible for you to eat all the oranges? He started putting up the question. And Pongo, he could not put him at prison now. There is no evidence. So he was very angry and he shouted at the narrator. At a point he was left alone and he was uh, sent out of the room. Finally, he goes to Clum to uh, say all the happenings. Where the first question from the Clum seems to be, Pongo locked you in that cabin for half an hour. He had no right to do that. So he has no right to lock you. Why did you accept it? You could have revenged for that. Na? Then why did you eat all the oranges? Then comes to his mind, Oh, I have eaten 17 large, uh, large oranges, including the seeds. Here it is given pips. So pips refers to seeds. So seeds and peels. So why have I taken risk? 
I could have told that reason. So now he realizes and he also says that I felt very sick for a week and those oranges kept working away in my stomach. So he was very sick for a week because of the reason that he had consumed 17 big oranges. So here I conclude my video and if you want this particular post to be in Tamil, please do refer our description for the link. And if you are not a subscriber, please do subscribe our channel to get further more updates. Thank you.